Hey, it's Jason Kravitz from Lords of the Playground here at the Esquire Live Lounge at Dad 2.0 at uh, Washington, D.C., 2016, uh, and uh, happily to have with me, happily, happy to have with me. Let's I use, like the first one. Let's go with that. Let's use gooder English. This is Matt Clark. Matt Hi. Clark from Convos with my two-year-old. And uh, if you haven't seen these, they're hilarious. I really enjoy them. Can you just tell everybody what they are? Yeah, uh, it's a YouTube channel. Uh, they're little short videos, the actual conversations I've had with my two-year-old daughter, which is now five, actually, mm -hmm. uh, as reenacted by me and another full-grown man. And which one do you play? I play myself. <laughs> and he plays the two-year-old? Yeah, two -year -old? typecast. Yeah, the other full-grown man plays the two-year-old <laughs> with a beard and a hair barrette. It really, know. it's gotten a lot of play, though, has it not? You've gotten a lot it's of been attention a while. Yeah, it. we've been doing it for about almost three years, I guess. Right. It's been kind of running off and on. And, um, yeah, it's been wild. It's been, in, I mean, we have about 800,000 subscribers and, I don't know, 90 million views or something That's like fantastic. that. fantastic. Yeah, it's insane. Is it paying you decently, YouTube? Is that how that works? I don't know. Uh, yeah, we, we do well. I mean, now... Um, not to get personal, but, you no, know. Well, when the show started, I mean, there was sort of very little... Enough. We have a sponsor now who uh, oh, sponsors the show. So Who's your sponsor? Uh, Geico. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, they've done the last couple seasons with us. Fantastic. Which has been great. We have had a, had a budget and it allows us to do more creative things. And Now, were you in the cool creative stuff. fields before this? Yeah, I was an actor uh, for years and a musician in bands, touring, making records, mm -hmm. uh, acting in film, TV, uh, theater. Um, no one really paid that much attention to me, though. You know? <laughs> this is definitely the thing that, that most people uh, recognize me from. Sometimes so it's having a kid that needs to re-inspire their uh, collective yeah. imagination. Yeah, well, it's funny because I was so uh, inspired, like, after we had our, our daughter because I was just being silly all the time, mm -hmm. you know, and just goofing around and just being an idiot, coming up with characters and voices and things. Mm -hmm. and just kind of open, reopen these creative gates a little bit, and I had all these kind of ideas, and this comes with my two-year-old, it was just kind of one of these things. Totally. I, I had the same experience when uh, my son, who's now 14, uh, was born. It really kind of like, between the uh, lack of sleep yeah. and the yeah. constant, constant hovering, there are yeah. these moments where you go, you're, it opens your brain in ways, your creative mind in ways that you, you might not have imagined before. Yeah, I, mem I remember thinking after we, at being sleep deprived, I was like, I kind of feel like I'm high all the time. And, Sometimes like it helps, that was, right? That was like a psychedelic period for the Beatles or something. Father exactly. has essentially get out of your right yeah. brain into your left brain. Yeah. Left brain into your right brain. Yeah, totally. So Shout either like you know have kids or do a lot of acid. That's Either two, one, you know? you know. Those are our two takeaways. There are benefits to both, I guess. I guess yeah. I can't advocate that. Um, so tell me, what was the first? What was the inspiring conversation? I remember the inspiring moment for the things that I've done. Yeah. You know, the moment where I was like, okay. I can make something with this. Yeah. What was the What was the inspiring moment for you? Um, it was. It was kind of a, a lot of things. Uh, I was. I was kind of at home with my daughter. My wife was working full time, and I was working part time. Mm -hmm. So I was spending a lot of time and just having all these interactions. I think the one that really uh, set me off, kind of gave me the the real inspiration, was I was my da my daughter was still in diapers, and I remember in the middle of a busy restaurant just looking down the back of her pants to check if it was dirty and it occurred, no one blinked, you know, everyone was like, well, that's just completely normal. And I thought, in what other context Can you is look this at all <laughs> acceptable in, like, ever, let alone a public setting? Right. And it was, I thought, this is, that's kind of a funny idea. Yeah. What yeah. was the first conversation that you recorded? Do you remember that one? We, um, the first one, we, I kind of gathered these scripts, I would kind of write them down, and uh -huh. I had kind of been collecting them for a few months before we shot. And the first one we shot was, the first episode we released was, um, where I'd come home and just wanted to have conversation with my wife about what we were going to do that night for dinner or, or whatever. And Coco, my daughter, just stepped in front and was like, no, you can't talk to her right now. And I was like, what's going on? What do you mean? I can't. That's my wife. I can talk to her. She's like, no, she's not your wife. She's the princess. I'm playing with her right now. And uh, I just felt like, almost like completely like, Cuckold it or something, you know, in this strange way. Like my, just like my marriage had been uh, yes. completely interrupted by this over. adorable child, you know. 
Uh, so subbing a full-grown man, and it's it's a little it's you know, even better, even more creepy. And yeah. and uh, how many did you shoot at first? Did you have like a bunch that you shot at once, or did you just do one to we check shot, it out? Yeah, we. I mean, there was no expectations for it at the beginning. I had about eight of these scripts collected, and we shot two in the first day, and just wow. kind of thought, well, we'll see how they go. If it'll work, part of it was I didn't even know if it was going to actually work. Right. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of a bit of a you know strange concept. So I thought, well, let's give it a shot. We'll just shoot it, shoot a sure. couple and see if they actually cut together. And they didn't. It went. The first one exploded. We went kind of viral right How away. How did that? Now I'm asking people who have gotten a lot of subscribers, yeah. followers, or whatever it is. What was their avenue? I mean, some people were like, I met somebody from BuzzFeed. They picked it up, and then it went this way. What was your? What was the way it went viral for you? It was. Um, I put it on YouTube. Mm -hmm. um, did that you have any kind of following on YouTube no, already? Yeah, no, I just kind of started a new channel. Oh, for a new it. So channel? zero subscribers, zero mm -hmm. views. Put it on YouTube, emailed it out to friends and family, and put it on Facebook and said, hey, if you guys like this, it's a new project I'm trying to start up, let mm -hmm. me know what you think. And it got a great response right away, and then someone, I think it was my sister-in-law actually, uh, put it on Reddit. Uh, oh. And from there, it kind of went to the front page of Reddit and then went everywhere. Reddit seems uh, to be like, if you can find that magic key to get in the front door, yeah. everybody sees it I somehow. I think every, a lot of like, key tastemakers are watching Reddit all the time. It, it goes from be, Reddit to Facebook and Twitter and then just out and then, the Yeah, world. BuzzFeed, Gawker, yeah. CNN, all these different places kind of, and then it just kind of went out of control. It's kind of crazy. It was, it was crazy. It was wild. Yeah. Do you have any new projects coming up, or is this uh, your main focus? Yeah, we have a um, bunch of new stuff. We have a show that we're going to release. Uh, well, I'd probably go to, go to the YouTube channel and, and subscribe. We can tell you about them as they come up. There's a show, community center-based web series that's coming out in the fall. And uh, another show we did called Toddler Tonight, which mm -hmm. is kind of like an entertainment tonight, but based <laughs> entirely on toddler news. Uh, it's very kind of satirical and, yeah. and dumb, and, uh, but lots That's of fun. Tough. And um, yeah, a few other projects in the work. We have a paranormal kind of comedy that we did, and we're kind of making all sorts of fun stuff and a bunch of stuff in the wow. work. So Sounds yeah, great. follow us on Twitter, I guess. Convos, at Convos Two Year Old. Everyone goes Convo, and, uh, at Convos news. Two Year Old. I want to make right. sure they have that. And yeah. then uh, on YouTube, you're found at YouTube at Convos with my Two Year Old. Convos with my Two Year Old. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Matt Clark at Dad 2.0 2016. We'll be back with the live lounge uh, shortly. Thank you, Matt Clark. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Here, sign the. Sign